Oh, I'm gonna do it with me. I'm back here playing Doki Doki Literature Club. On <laughs> the last episode, I don't know what happened last episode. We did a second poetry reading. We're getting set ready. We got. For we're getting ready for the yeah. presentation. Yeah. And everyone hates it, but they're all doing it anyway. Cause, yeah. Cause. Cause peer pressure. I know the best was coming up. Let's try to write a poem for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow. No one need to have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. My stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Harry and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. Gross. <laughs> then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sari? Yep. Look at you two always going home together like that. Well, they live near each other, you bitch. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It, it must be a little nice, though. Wheels. Well... Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? You don't. It's okay, P.E.O., you don't have to say it. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go already. It's like, fuck, whatever. <laughs> don't fuck say it. Here. I, I walk home with Sari once more. D is he going to have to narrate every time he walks home with his childhood friend who he always <laughs> walks home with? Obviously. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sari is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. <laughs> um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... Uh, I mean... Sari fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What, what would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh decision well. time. <laughs> can't you walk with both? Why is this not an option? What are, you, are you exclusive? You can't walk home with somebody else? Blasphemy. Can't form a group? No. No group walking date? No. Oh, it's a tough one. Ooh. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know either. You, you pick the choice, though. Fuck, piss her off. We're walking with Yuri. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not going to turn Yuri down. We're not a dick. We always walk home with Sayuri. Do it. Do it. You're the one telling her, not me. Walking home with Yuri. Oh. Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? And my dick hard. I thought that was Monica. <laughs> I mean... Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Aha, you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Well, whoa, whoa, invasive. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Jeez. Need you? Sari, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Except Aww. for Monica. Ha! <laughs> hmm. If you say so. <laughs> the conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but if there's something that makes her happy... I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Well, apparently a lot at the rate this club moves. Oh, fall damn time. it. You people did the same thing as before? Yeah, back and forth. Yeah. Well. Depression. That's going to be Yuri. What? Yeah, probably. Nope. Nope, Sari. Fucking nightgown. Oh, oh, cutie. Uh. 
uh, holiday. Okie dokie. You keep picking the same girl. <laughs> uh, uh, fantasy. Aren't these even the same words as the last few times? I don't know, probably. I'm pretty sure. They just move them around. Kawaii. Fuck, uh... Natsuki's gonna love oh, us. Yuri is not liking us at all. I didn't pick her once. Yeah, because we know all of hers are horrible. Uh... Uh... Kitty. Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> uh, landscape. There, she liked that. She still looks depressed. Waterfall. Where to go? Uh, the, the hair. I don't know why that's cutesy. Whoa. I wonder what kind of climax we're talking about. I don't know. Uh, skipping. Seriously, Natsuki's gonna fucking love us. After image. And uh, you're your Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle! Oh, man! <laughs> I'm the last one here again! Don't worry. I just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? And you're yeah! Fucking business, Yuri. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Twist Ultra. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Eh? What did you complain about just yesterday? It's going to be fucking great. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. <laughs> Specifics. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all of this kind of delicious food. It says the one who always makes the food. You sound a bit like Siri all of a sudden. Fuck you, nothing like Siri. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? Yeah, you know the... the... That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. I like squid. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you saying that you don't like squid? <laughs> you of all people. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by <laughs> all you of people? That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> because it's right in your name. Oh, I didn't. Monica. What? I don't. I don't know. Hey? <laughs> I don't know what she's fucking talking about. I thought. I thought squid was ta taco. In Japanese. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that j joke makes no sense in translate. There you go. Because takoyaki is fried squid. I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Did they just trap me into giving up that I'm just a weeb who knows a little bit of Japanese? Pretty much. <laughs> Sons of bitches. <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as funny as your Yuri's or Siori's anyway. Excuse me. Fuck you. Where is Sari anyway? Probably killed herself oh, there after, you are. after your fucking... Oh. Sari is sitting at a desk in God. the corner of the room looking down her. at nothing. You depressed her now. But we didn't lie. Sure, you should have. I walk over to her. Ah, my frog. Hi, frog. Hi, frog. Hey, Sayuri. I wave my hand in front of her face. Oh, no, she's gone. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You, oh. you can talk to everyone else. Eh? Yeah? Bitch. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine, of course. Of course it's fine. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. Mm. I'm fine, see? Sarah yeah. shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so. That's what she said last week. I worriedly glance at Sari before turning back towards everyone else. Conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activity. It's a book club. What is everyone like running around doing? Book club things. <laughs> Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sari recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Be you with them! 
Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sari recently? Anything up with her? And what do you, what do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sari, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I was going to say up and down her face. <laughs> That's what came to mind. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm fine. See, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. For big mistakes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just trying to erase myself. <laughs> Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, P.U. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean... I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? Oh, what do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the one th the thing on her mind is you, P.U. P.U. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say it too much, but... Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know? Hey. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. Until now. <laughs> it's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. What? Sari is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, P.U. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Mm -hmm. ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Like this. Every conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. They also say A a lot. Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Ugh. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sari is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sari and gently talk to her. Cute. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. Here comes... I know Sari told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Enter Yuri. I glance around the room. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly and uh, with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. <laughs> So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. Hmm? I di didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax. You didn't even do anything. Yeah, bitch. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your Jesus thoughts. Christ. Alone with my thoughts? She really bugs me. Why? She's just invasive, but not. Well, she's always like, um, like super apologetic for no reason all the time. It's kind of annoying. Hmm. How were you even able to tell what I was that I was thinking like that? 
Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. Sure. Wheels. I didn't do anything creepy like that. Sure. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. Uh huh. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I'd be glad to listen. Ah, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sari. Sari? E. <laughs> yeah. She seems to be a little bit off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. <laughs> what? Hey. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. <laughs> we did. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sari and I have just have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Yeah. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. P you. you. <laughs> the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? I think that Sari is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sari... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Friends zone. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. I want you. Uh, her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Yeah, I'd be kind of concerned if a girl just like <laughs> leans and staring at me. It's like, ah! <laughs> Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. Uh huh. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That—that that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. <sighs> Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? No shit in the literature club? <laughs> well, as long as you're okay with I it. I was the one who suggested it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Can we share a book again? That was pretty <laughs> cute. <laughs> okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Ugh. Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Ugh. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. Every well, aren't day. you included in everyone? Every day the same shit. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sari. Obviously you. Yeah. Hmm. Should we poke at Sari and see? Is it gonna be all depressing? Probably. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. <laughs> Come on. I can already <laughs> tell you don't like it. Fuck you. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. Oh my god! <laughs> I wrote, wrote it for the literature you wrote, club. You wrote bitch. it for someone else, didn't you? 
probably Natsuki. Hey, <laughs> bitch. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's really what I, not really what I meant, though. What did you mean, then? That, <laughs> but it's okay. But it's okay. Make a new friend. It's just something I was hoping. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Oh, yeah. And you're happy, too, right? In this club? <coughs> oh. Dustin's bag. Well, of course I am. Yeah, of course you are. Good. I am dying. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. Thank you, P.U. <laughs> Rhyme. <coughs> Harry. Is there something wrong? No, no, no. Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Fuck. <laughs> she's, she's angry. Eat a Snickers. All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay. <laughs> and by play... I'm going to go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? Ooh. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Before I can say anything else, Sari cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Didn't, did, did we not get to read her poem? I guess not. Oh. We were destroyed poems. She just peaced out? I guess. Well done, Pew. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this... It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. Weren't you already in a club that was doing this anyway? I don't understand. <laughs> I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. But now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> personal time mm -hmm. with you. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, P.U.? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? You know? You know? As always, I believe that what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? In bed. Whoa! Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Oh! Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. Good minute. That must be terrible. Hey. For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. I didn't mean a sorry counter for her. Fuck, I know. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? No. Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath grey rolling clouds an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in, is one where everything can be found. One, one can build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet the tide comes, will it gently lick at your f foundations? Will until you give in or will a sudden wave send you cash crashing down in the blink of an eye either way the outcome is the same yet we still build sandcastles I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles or my toes squish into the sand the salty air is therapeutic the breeze is gentle yet powerful I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line 
tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to, er to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to the earth forevermore. Okay, Edgar Allan. Yeah. Go, Bo. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to, ta to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. <laughs> I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? No. No? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Oh, it's the little bitch. No, oh, bitch. She's my fave. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> eh? This one, it's good. I was wondering how long it would take you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Don't listen to what anyone else says. Especially Yuri. We really tailored our poem to her taste, I guess. <laughs> Just, well, you get, we picked her like eight times. <laughs> Just keep writing poems like this. This is all, that's all you need. Are, are you sure that's not just what you want? Excuse me? You're talking to a pro, you know. Don't you think you should trust my opinion the most? I guess <clears> that <throat> depends. Aren't you biased towards poems that are more simple and cute? Biased? Of course not. My opinion just happens to be the best. Oh! There's one thing I still can't tell. Is Natsuki actually self-aware of her spoiled behavior? At this rate, I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Fair enough. I'm glad that you like my poem, after all. <laughs> I knew you'd finally understand. Just keep showing me your poems and you'll be a pro before you know it. Anyway, here's what I here's the one I wrote. Ugh, I'll be oh, your, this is easy to read. I'll be your beach. <laughs> kind of on the nose, isn't it? I, I like the music they gave her. <laughs> the little derpy flute. It's all simple and like. <laughs> your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your one that diminished your wonder over the years. But today, I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worry away. I'll be the beach that your daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. Let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in a windy set your set you free in my windy sail. <clears throat> and remember the reasons you're so wonderful. You're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Jeez. I'll be the beach that washes your worry away. I'll be the beach that. You dream your body, Jay. I mean, the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Hers was a lot more happy and romantic than Yuri's was. Yeah, hers was more like the beach is the. Like, I don't know, the, the thought be, of the killing beach. yourself? Yeah, Yuri's, yeah. And hers was like, the beach is me. Come, well, to, come like, to the beach. You always live on the edge, and then sometimes you get washed away, so it's like the risk reward of life. Yeah. yeah. I felt like I was writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something that was a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write. <laughs> Talk to Yuri about that. Kind of hard to write anything about negative about the beach. Well, well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Geez, she better not have, have said anything bad about me. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same thing. Same topic. That's not what she said. That, yeah. That's not oh, what she said. You really see her, see her doing that too, making us sure about 
making us write about the simple topic and then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. So I mean, I guess lying? mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. God. Oh, God. Your favorite and everyone's favorite. Can't be loud right now. Happy you! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform in the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure! But whatever you do, I'm pretty sure it'll turn out great! It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem! Okay. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. I like it, be you. <laughs> really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that's not cuter. I, we really she liked really it. liked it, so. And she's a good writer, too. <clears throat> so take that as a compliment. <laughs> oh, wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> If you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Nope. Hey. Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it'd be your kind of poem to explore. Anyway. I'll share my poem with you now, all right? All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> That's what I said. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost, adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else fail has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glow glimmering in the... What is that? Glimmering in the... Twilight? In the twilight sky! I guess. Until one day... The wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find uh -uh. no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. <clears throat> and Jeez. I pick up a gust of wind. That was depressing. Yeah. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it's kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. There are a lot of things that PU does not put much <laughs> thought into. He's, that's kind of his tagline. <laughs> like, yeah, I never really thought about it. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, you really care about Terry. Oh, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> you, oh, you really like writing about cutesy things. Oh, I hadn't really, really thought about, about it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all big philosophical things. Oh, I really hadn't thought about it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Oh, I never really thought about <laughs> <laughs> Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? 
You know, there's one thing I noticed. Oh, sure, you know I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Uh oh. <laughs> are you surprised? I really thought about it. <laughs> 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 <sighs> I, I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know better than anyone. I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> you mean one-dimensional? No. Oh, yeah! That. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. I feel like we've ended with Monica every time, <laughs> so it always ends with Monica's tip of the day. <laughs> every time. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things they can work on. It's much more encouraging that way. It will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing the poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did something... Did you say something strange just now? Eh? Yeah, you three. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Mm -hmm. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Okay. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sari isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Ah! <laughs> Sari always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, <clears throat> please show some decency. She went to take a big old shit. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> It's called urination. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling all too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. She's dead. Seriously? Of all times to not go home with her, you pick the time when she's not feeling well? Ooh, throwing shade. So much for you two meeting all lovey-dovey. Ah, uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sari. Friend zone! And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh! <laughs> that curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys! I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, <laughs> we need to figure out the rest of the festival pressure. What did she say? Anyway! So let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right! Natsuki will be making cupcakes! Of course she is. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? No, I need PE with me. Challenge accepted. Come at me, bro. And as for MPH. myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Hi. I'm <laughs> Jesus. <useless>. No, <laughs> that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. No, Natsuki's <laughs> pouting too. I'm talented. Jeez, even I can tell now. 
I guess I never gave Sari enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? You know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, Your mind uh -huh. is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you be you. The one who is truly <laughs> useless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. Oh, God. Qu oh, yeah. It would probably go a long way to give one of them hate. <laughs> you can always help me out as well. Mm. I, I would really be oh, appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Why not all three? How on earth are, are they going to they respond to a suggestion like that? Pick Yuri, because Sayori's going to be really pissed off if we pick Yuri. Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. <sighs> I don't need a, we don't need a guilt trip. Only if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. Oh, yeah? Mm. Dirty work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Hey, don't talk about my butt. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Oh, my God. P.U. may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So, therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations, anyway? Sounds more Goodbye. like you're just making excuses for P.U. to... What are you saying? <laughs> It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Hey, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to P.U. to decide how he'd like to contribute. Whoa. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend oh any time God. with me yet, you know? <laughs> Fuck off. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said that. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. P.U., you're okay with this, right? Totally. In the end, it's up to you. Awesome. Uh, of course. Oof. Very well. In that case. Everyone looks straight at me. Sayori. <laughs> She's there. <laughs> oh, who do we pick? I'm gonna need to make decisions. Monica. You gonna go with Monica? Yes, let's just piss off everybody. Like, she's like the underdog. She hasn't been making any moves until this episode. Pretty much. So, let's let's reward this. Oh, God. Sarah's gonna be pissed. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to go with. Sarah's gonna be pissed. Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yeah, you <laughs> picked me! Hold one one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Yeah, but... The music's changed. It's scaring me. I agree with Natsuki. I'm scared. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sari as well. But Pew is the one who... Uh... It doesn't matter. You were the one who scared me to pick you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Well, you, made ulterior motives. <laughs> you made a bad choice. You made a bad choice. Everybody's mad. <laughs> ulterior motives. You were right when you said you'd piss off everybody. <laughs> what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Are you hearing this music? It's clown music. <laughs> Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. 
we don't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. God. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh... Sorry, going to do the right thing, President. Okay, okay. I get it. <sighs> it's technically most logical for P.O. to have one of you two. God damn. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Ah, <laughs> that, that all just came leading back around. We'll we'll pick on the next episode. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll piss off somebody else. A little bit of a cliffhanger. We already pissed off Sari. Monica tried and failed. So, shit's shit's hitting the fan. As oh, yeah. uh, as a uh, bad moon gaming, Wolfman Pedro has predicted. Oh, it's hitting the fan. Hard. I feel like it's gonna hit the shit. Shit, shit, hit the, sh <laughs> shit the fan. Shit the fan. The shit hit the chandelier. Yeah. I think it's gonna get worse I as think we go it, on. It hit the it hit the fan hanging from the chandelier. I would say let us know who to pick, but we're gonna do this right after anyway. So, yeah. so we won't see your comments, unfortunately. So we're gonna pick anyway. But you can leave a comment, say who your favorite is. Yeah, or who you think we should have. Because I, I I personally like uh, like Natsuki because I think she's funny. But I like Monica because she she's honest and ditzy but well meaning. Yeah, Sarah's a bitch. That's why I like she's sassy. <laughs> Sari or Natsuki? Natsuki, I mean, sorry. Yeah, I was like, mm, come on. Sari's a bitch, too, though. She's passive aggressive, bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's like me. Natsuki's I, up front. Yeah, anyway, bitch. we're just we're mumbling, though. Or Yuri is reactionary, bitch, and Monica's unintentional, bitch. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.